We're back with the screen team. I'm Chris. I'm being joined by Amber with this particular review here on the screen team. And we're getting ready to review a movie which um, it's uh, it's difficult to uh, kind of point out what this movie's about and uh, whether or not I really liked it or not. We're going to get Amber's thoughts here in just a second. But uh, the movie we're talking about is a movie called Nocturnal Animals. Uh, it was a movie that was released, I believe, in 2016. Uh, it's got a great, great cast in it. It's got uh, Amy Adams. And, of course, it's also got... Um, uh, what's the guy's name? Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal in it as well. It's got, my mind is going totally blank here. Um, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson is in it. Michael Shannon is in this movie as well. Um, a lot of good performances in this film, but this film is, it's out there. It's weird. <laughs> it's out there, man. Very, very out there. You know, when I saw um, the preview for this movie, I was like, okay, this looks cool. Um, kind of like a revenge kind of tale. Um, got a great, great all-star cast in it as well. Uh, but... As soon as you turn this movie on, as soon as you turn yes, it on, as the, soon as you turn it the on, the very second you turn it on, you feel very, very uncomfortable. Yes, <laughs> and that's the, a very good way to put it. The exact <laughs> moment you turn this on, you're like, "What are we watching?" Yeah, I mean, I would, I would venture to say there's a lot of people that before they get through the opening credits are just like, "Nope, not watching this." That's a very, very good point. Had I not spent the four dollars to rent it, I, <laughs> I may have done the same thing. So, okay, after that first few minutes of watching this film, you're put in an uncomfortable position. You're kind of, you kind of feel, you know, a little icky and dirty and, and all that kind of stuff. But did your view change after that or did you still feel that way? All right. So it's a story within a story kind mm -hmm. of movie. So it makes it a little complicated. And then there's flashbacks. So that's also complicating it. So you, right. you got to really pay attention to follow it. I did end up liking the movie. Mm -hmm. I thought it was interesting and well done. Now, I know that there are a lot of other screen teamers, <laughs> because I saw their postings on Facebook, mm -hmm. that were like, no, don't ever watch this movie, <laughs> ever. But I, I don't agree. I would say watch the movie, if you can get past the intro. <laughs> Maybe fast forward through the intro. Yeah, and you, and you don't need a big winner at the end. If you need a big payoff at the end, probably not that's the best a, movie that's for That's a you. very, very good point, because I watched it, and I don't, don't want to give away the ending, and I was like, okay... What just happened? So I got they leave it very ambiguous. They they right. want the uh, the viewer to kind of decide what happens basically. Yeah, right? you're left with a lot of questions, and you're not sure is this a revenge movie? Mm -hmm. Is this you know kind of like a dark, just depressing movie? Yeah. Is this you know a food for thought kind of movie? You're not really sure. And I guess maybe that might have been my biggest issue with this film is that it didn't know what it wanted to be. You know, when you watch right. when you watch the very first few minutes of the film, you're like, am I watching a Kubrick film? Because you kind of have that uneasy mm -hmm. feeling. But then you get into the revenge tale where they're basically they're reading a story from Jake Gyllenhaal's uh, book that he that his character writes. So I like that particular part of it. Mm -hmm. You're like, OK, where's where is this leading up to? And what does it have to do with his and Amy Adams relationship you know, previously. So that part of the story I found very intriguing and I wanted to know more about. Um, and I thought a lot of the side characters were really good. Aaron Taylor Johnson, who plays the um, kind of the crooked guy. In the, yeah, in, the bad guy. The bad of. guy in the book. He's, I think that dude is so, so underrated. He's such a good character actor. You might not recognize his name or know who he is, but if he's been in so many, so many movies. Uh, Michael Shannon, who plays the uh, detective in the film, he is... Yeah, I thought Michael Shannon was great, and he was very yeah. dry and kind of understated, and yeah. he had his own depth of character, too, which right. I thought was good. Right, and he was nominated for an Academy Award, I think, for, I that, think so. uh, for Best Supporting Actor uh, for this film. Um, what did you think about Amy Adams and Jake Gyllenhaal? Did you think they were good leads together? Yeah, I thought they were good together. Mm -hmm. I would maybe not have chosen Amy Adams for this role. Okay, I mean, why is that? Just the, she's so cold mm -hmm. in, in the part of the movie that she is in it just didn't seem maybe and that's good acting on her part but it just didn't seem to fit with what i think of as amy adams okay you know? <laughs> um jake gyllenhaal i thought was really good and you yeah. were talking about how it's kind of like two different movies mm -hmm. i mean if we were just watching the jake gyllenhaal movie yeah it would have been a really good movie right yeah <laughs> but i'm not sure that the art dealer cold you know woman who jilts her husband kind of thing is is what i think of amy adams being and yeah and, and it kind of so the face of that so did you not buy because i guess they were trying to yeah i had a hard time buying it okay because they were like in some of the flashbacks they were trying to say that she was some sort of you know she was sweet and then she became cold and something like that but i yeah i like amy adams 
a lot sweeter than I know. Than I like that. it nice and cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's really funny is, and this is just a total side note, uh, Isla Fisher is in this film as well, and I always get her and Amy Adams mixed up. Like they they look well, alike to me. I think that was on purpose. I think that was That's intentional a very good point. in yeah. the movie because I, my opinion is that the novel that Jake Gyllenhaal's character writes mm-hmm. is a parallel for the relationship that he had with Amy Adams. Right. So. Uh, the Fisher Woman is cast as his wife in the story he writes. Right. So I think that's kind of supposed to be her. Yeah. Um, all right. So I got to ask you: um, Do you have any desire to watch this movie again? I would watch this movie again, but only because I'm sure I missed things the first time around. Yeah. Um, not for the entertainment value. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, for me, it was entertaining because it yeah. made me think about some things. But and try it more in the in the way of you want to try and figure it out so right. what is really happening here and it's not an easy thing to figure out but yeah. just because the how it's constructed yeah uh, but i don't think you should just turn it off after you see the crazy opening it's definitely <laughs> as, crazy as you might be tempted to <laughs> it's definitely crazy uh the movie's called nocturnal Anim- animals uh if uh get the the feeling to watch it definitely give it a give it a shot it stars amy adams jake gyllenhaal mike shannon aaron taylor johnson very very good cast and uh you can find it on dvd we got more reviews coming your way next right here on kwoc